Hey, my friend, again, this is Rafael Dijan, uh, the founder of Ali Global. Uh, I believe you are doing well. I believe you are doing well. Then here we are at the, you know, at the end of the year 2020. Uh, I'm sure just like you, a lot of us, you know, because of this COVID, we didn't think we was going to make it, right? But here we are, and we are all, we are ready to move into the year 2021. And then one of the things I can, you know, if you have to ask your question today is that, have you really, really uh, took time to look in, way back down in the year 2020? And take the inventory have you tried uh, to to you know just to take an account of the year 2020 yes I know it was tough uh, we, we call that the year of chaos because all of us we find ourselves in a situation where we're not prepared for uh, the situation where none of us thought it was gonna happen you know the COVID hit so hard so so many people lose their business so so many people lose the loved ones so many people lose money people lose their job we were struck down. We was locked down. I mean, the whole world was locked down. Trip was canceled. Vacation was canceled. Wedding was canceled. Everything was canceled. But have you took time and take the inventory of the year? Have you took time and say, okay, yes, it was the year of chaos. What have I learned from that year? What are some of the mistakes? That I actually make that year because I failed to prepare the year. Because I failed to be ready for the chaos. Because I failed maybe to put the emergency fund aside. What are some of the things we learned from the year 2020? Yes, now we're in the month of December. We, really, we are ready to cross over another year, another season. I just want to come your way and challenge you. Whatever you are doing, I want you to take time and reevaluate this year. What went right and what went wrong? Praise God for what actually went right. And I'm sure before you enter to the year 2020, you actually planned that. Because I talked about this, I remember I talked about this in, 20, in, in 2019. How to prepare ourselves to cross over 2020. And one of the things I really, really mentioned was to prepare for chaos, was to prepare for unpredictable things that may happen, was to prepare for accident, was to prepare for what we call the rainy season. Sometimes it rains on your period. Sometimes the light go off on your wedding night. Sometimes your house burn down. Sometimes you get fired from job. Sometimes cancer show up. Sometimes diabetes show up. We as a human being, it's just part of life. Yes, we call this big one COVID-19. But even next year, even if next year, something else may show up. But whatever we do, we must be prepared. And that's what I talked about last year as we was prepare ourselves to cross over. So I want you to make sure you take, you evaluate last year. You take the whole inventory. Don't just jump into the new year. And don't just set up new goals for the New Year's, but take an inventory of last year. And, and that's why also I want to make sure I invite you. We have this a great, great seminar that's going to be coming up where we will spend almost three days and take an inventory. I, I always tell people there's no bad situation in life. In life, either you learn or you win. There's no such thing as loss. But the danger, of, the danger is when you don't learn from things will happen to you. Make sure it, it happened for you, not to you. So we will spend three days to learn from it. And, and I, I don't know if you follow me, if you follow some of my video, you probably have a link already for that seminar where we have thousands of people just like you who joined this online to learn from last year. And, and not only that, I don't want you to live in the past. I want you to prepare for the future. As we move into 2021, I, I, are you going to jump in January and start plan, plan the year? And if you are part of, if you are in my mentorship class, we actually work with 20-year plan. 
I always tell people, you must plan your 20 years. And come down and plan the 10 years. Straight down and do the five years, three years, and plan your year. You must know before you enter into the year where you are going. Trust me, if you don't have a clear map, which on that map is gonna, we have to identify where you are and look at where you are going, what you want out of 2021. You'll be shocked that the year is over. I, I, I'm not talking about New Year resolution. I'm not talking about New Year resolution. I'm talking about a plan. I'm talking about the map who actually close that gap from where you are to where you want to go. What do you want out of 2021? What do you want to achieve? How much money do you want to make? If it's business, where do you want to take your business? Your relationship with your wife, your friends, your dream list, what do you want to achieve? What nation do you want to visit? Your health, how many pounds do you want to weigh? How many calories do you want to cut down? What do you want to look like? Your dream list, what are some of the people Influence the people you want to meet. Your growth plan. How many seminars do you want to attend? What are some of the courses you want to take for this year? What are some of the things you want to do for yourself so you can become a better person? Not only that, your contribution. What are you going to do to make this world a better place? What nonprofit do you want to contribute to? Maybe you may have to just choose a few kids in Africa and help them. Maybe you may just go out every week and feed the homeless. We must make sure we have that plan before you enter into the year. But like I said, not only that, we stretch to 20 years. So you don't have to react every day when you wake up. You want to wake up and know exactly what you want to do. You want to have a plan for your life. So people don't jump in and absorb your, your life. So you don't keep reacting. Just let me, let me ask you this. Just imagine uh, you decide to go to, you know, I, I'm from Cameroon. Let's say you just decide to go to Cameroon and not just to Cameroon. You probably say, well, I want to go to Limbe. And I want to go to this town in Limbe. And I want to be in this particular home. The moment you said that, you start to make plans. And if you live here, you are going to Limbe. You make sure, first of all, you find a short, easy, fast way to get to Limbe. And then you have a plan. How long it's going to take for you to get to Limbe and how long you want to spend in Limbe. And what even you want to do there. When you set that, they give you the map. You find out where you are. You're probably in Texas like me and you know where you are going. And know you know how long it's going to take you to get there. Guess what is the fun part of that? The best part of this is going to be the journey. The time to leave America and get to Limbe. That's where you have fun. And that's how our life is. If you don't know where you are going in life. If you don't know. If you're not prepared. If you don't prepare yourself to enter into 2021. You'll find yourself everywhere. And that's where we get to that, I call the regretted room, where we regret. When we wish we, we did some years, the year before. And you don't want to find yourself there. And, and sometimes we may know where we want to go, but we don't know how to get there. That's why I'm here for you. That's why I have over, I mean, over 300 certified early coach right now all over the world who can step in and help you. I, I, I remember when I planned, I, 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 I had my, my 20 years goal. One of the funny things about that is that the biggest question was, how am I going to make this, do this? Because I don't know. I've never been there. But I knew there were people who actually already touched that place where I want to go. Tony Robbins was one of those people. My leadership skill and all that. John Maxwell was one of those. And I went and summoned myself under these people's leadership. They trained me. They put the tools in my hand. 
I didn't have to go out and create anything. And I just follow step by step. And here I am today. Whatever you do, make sure you set a clear goal for, your, for next year. And I'm sure you probably have a goal for the 20 years, the 10th year, the 5th year. That's what I want to challenge you to do that. I'm not talking about a resolution. I'm talking about a clear map. There's no way you can be react about your life every year and set a, a new year resolution. No. Have a map. You, 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 you're trying to take a resolution when you already have a map and you have a way for, and when you have an obstacle, you can take a new resolution to go around to get where you want to go. If you are flying from here to, 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 to Cameroon and you miss a flight, you have to take a new resolution to come up with new way to press on but you can't get your life with the new year resolution thank you so much for spending this time with me and listen to me but i just don't want you to just listen i want you to make action information cannot change you that's why we can find so many information just great information like this on google but what will change you what will empower you is the application and the first step is to take action i want you to stop this video now and make action maybe it's going to be just to reach out to us on locate one on our coaches and or find a mentor who can sit down with you and help you or even block a time to re retreat yourself and walk on your 20 years goal but whatever you do, make sure you work on next year before you enter into next year. Thank you so much.